All right, looking at the cosine function. Cosine function is the x's. Remember from your unit circle that cosines are the x's. And so what is the x at 0 degrees? You're at 1 comma 0, so the x is 1. x is root 2 over 2 at pi over 4. So that's approximately 0 0.7. Pi over 2, the x value is 0. 3 pi over 4 is negative root 2 over 2, so that's negative 0.7. At pi, going straight across, you're going to the left one, so that's negative 1. 5 pi over 4 is still on the left-hand side, so it's going to be negative root 2 over 2, or negative 0.7. 3 pi over 2, it's going straight down, so you're not going left and right at all at 0. 7 pi over 4, off to the right, root 2 over 2, and you've got 0.7. And then straight to the right again, we're at 1. So all the same numbers that we had from the sine graph, but in a different order. We started at 1. So I'm, I'm going to go 0 to 2 pi again. This is pi, this is 2 pi. Labeling our axis is going to be very important when we're doing this stuff. Pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. Notice that you can start with 2 pi, cut that in half, cut it in half again, and then you have 1, 2, 3 of those, so 3 pi over 2. So we started at the peak, started at 1, and ended at 1. And then halfway in between, we had pi. Halfway in between each of those, at pi over 2, and at 3 pi over 2, we had 0. And so then 0.7 happened, negative 0.7. And so connect those with a smooth curve. Sorry. So, maximum. Still 1. Now the maximum happened at 0, comma 1. So at 0 plus 2 pi n, just like we were talking about before, where n is an integer. Meaning the numbers 1, 2, 3, or positive, or negative 1, 2, 3. Minimum, still a negative 1. So at pi, negative 1, or at pi plus 2 pi n is where all of them happened. The period of the function, just like the sine, is still 2 pi. Repeated itself after 2 pi. And the amplitude, still 1, because the distance it got away from the middle. It went up 1, and it went down from the middle, and so the amplitude is 1. Distance from equilibrium. Similarities and difference from the sine and cosine. Same shape, different starting point. It had the same shape, so the sine function, y equals sine of x, we said started at 0 and then went up and started from there where the y equals the cosine function started at 1 and ended at the peak. So things to remember. Sine has to deal with the x. So what is the y value at 0 degrees? Think of your unit circle. You're going to the right. So the y value at 0 is 0. Where the x value, this is 1 comma 0, 1 comma 0, here we're looking for the y value, here we're looking for the x value. And so the cosine starts at 1, sine starts at 0. And that's how we can remember it.